them pay one day. How can anyone be so rich? You bastard. I may be a bastard, Mr. Thorburn, but you are a fool. And of the two, I think I know which I prefer. The Gilded Age Season 3 is on its way, and we've got all the details for you. From the real story behind Season 2's Opera War to how Season 3 is set up, here's a simple rundown of everything we know. Now let's dive into how the Gilded Age paves the way for Season 3. With the show's renewal confirmed, the Season 2 finale offers a glimpse into what to expect in the upcoming season. The series, set in 1880s New York City, unravels the scandals and rivalries within the upper-class society, showcasing clashes between the newly wealthy and established families. Are you alright? Ask me tonight when it's over. Ah. I hope after tonight Mother will calm down. What if she loses? Win or lose, she's got to be less mad than she's been lately. Your mother knows what she wants. Although Season 2's storyline concludes, it leaves room for more to unfold. While there are no immediate cliffhangers in the Season 2 finale, the show hints at the direction Season 3 will take if it returns. In a society undergoing constant change, the old guard strives for stability but faces challenges from the ambitious Bertha Russell, Carrie Coon. Despite her victory in the opera war at the end of Season 2, Bertha's journey is far from over and she is determined to bring about further changes. Although her triumph signals a step closer to her goal, Bertha's struggle for acceptance within society remains unresolved. The promise of the show lingers as Season 3 holds the potential for future developments and the ongoing clash between tradition and ambition. Season 2 concludes on a satisfying note, but it also introduces numerous ongoing storylines that hold the potential for exploration. The Russells face uncertainties as Bertha's plans for Gladys and the adversaries George encounters in his business dealings keep things unsettled. Ada's newfound wealth alters her dynamics with Agnes, who struggles with any change, especially one that diminishes her power. Meanwhile, Peggy and Jack Treacher embark on a new chapter. However, the most anticipated storyline is the budding romance between Marion and Larry, poised to face opposition from their families. These plot threads, combined with the Gilded Age's knack for weaving in historical events from the influential era, set the stage for another installment with ample potential. As Season 3 has been confirmed, we eagerly anticipate the continuation of these captivating storylines. Here are some of the story arcs we hope to see further developed. Beyond the character dynamics explored so far, The Gilded Age presents numerous possibilities for Season 3. The recent changes in the Russell House staff, including the introduction of a new ladies' maid and the departure of George's valet, Mr. Watson, opens up avenues for new stories. The evolving relationship between Mrs. Bruce and Mr. Borden, as well as other happenings within the house, add depth to the narrative. While Season 2 concludes with the Russell family not lacking in storylines, there are still intriguing plots to be unraveled. Bertha's ongoing rivalry with her former lady's maid, Mrs. Winterton, extends beyond the opera war, promising future conflicts. Mrs. Astor, a sometimes friend of Bertha, is unlikely to forget the rejection of her peace offering, potentially leading to further tensions. Bertha's history with the Met, stemming from her denial of a box at the Academy of Music, adds another layer of complexity. Despite Mrs. Astor's attempt to extend an olive branch, Bertha's refusal may result in future conflicts given the recent loss in the opera war. While Season 2 doesn't explicitly detail the nature of these potential conflicts, the delicate character dynamics set the stage for a potential eventful Season 3. The uncertain trajectories of these relationships and the evolving dynamics within the Russell House leave ample room for intriguing developments in the next installment. A recurring plot point since Season 1, Bertha's strategic plan for Gladys's marriage, continues to unfold in Season 2. Bertha aims to elevate the Russell family's social status by orchestrating a marriage for her daughter that would secure attendance from the most respected members of society. Throughout Season 2, Bertha tightly controls Gladys's social interactions, emphasizing her daughter's role in their societal ascent. However, Gladys nearly disrupts these plans by considering a proposal from Oscar Van Ryn, which would free her from Bertha's influence. 
George steps in, pledging to support Gladys in opposing her mother, but only for a man she genuinely loves. Despite George's intervention, Bertha appears to overlook her daughter's feelings, pairing her off with the Duke of Buckingham, whom Gladys dislikes. To secure the Duke's attendance at the Met's opening night, Bertha makes an undisclosed and costly deal, implying that it involves Gladys's hand in marriage. Season 2 hints at George developing suspicions about this agreement, setting the stage for potential conflict between him and Bertha. The division within the Russell family adds a layer of drama, particularly as the efficient husband and determined wife pursue conflicting goals. Bertha, in her quest for societal acceptance, not only makes enemies within society but also potentially turns her usually supportive husband into an opponent. If the show delves deeper into the storyline, it could unravel tensions within the Russell family, creating compelling drama as they navigate their differing ambitions and the consequences of Bertha's strategic maneuvers. Season 2 brings conflict for George beyond the family sphere as his company faces a strike. While his fellow businessmen prefer a wait-and-see approach, George takes a different route, ending the violence through negotiations and making concessions that not everyone in his position approves of. Despite earning praise for resolving the strike, the union leader Henderson acknowledges that the issues persist. George's shrewd business acumen leads him to a strategic move, agreeing to terms while intending to create internal strife within the union, ultimately allowing him to regain control later. However, not everyone sees George's actions in this light. Some view it as a broken promise not to engage with the union, and this sparks the ire of his fellow businessmen. The fallout from this agreement puts George in a precarious position, facing threats from those who were once allies in the business world. In The Gilded Age Season 3, significant changes are in store for the Van Ryn household. After facing the brink of financial ruin due to a con artist's deception, the family receives a surprising fortune from Ada's late husband, Luke Fort. This unexpected windfall allows them to maintain their house and lifestyle, but it also marks a major shift in the family dynamics. Ada becomes the head of the household. Traditionally, Agnes has ruled the household with a strict and controlling demeanor, enforcing rigid standards. However, Ada's more laid-back approach as the new family head is set to alter the dynamics within the household. The staff, accustomed to Agnes's rule, will now have to adapt to Ada's instructions as their new employer. This transition of power is bound to create tension between the sisters, especially given Agnes's reluctance to relinquish control. This shift in power dynamics will also impact Agnes's relationship with her son, whom she blames for the previous mess and harshly judges for his admission. The changing family dynamics promise to bring forth conflicts and challenges with the Van Ryn household. Additionally, other changes are afoot, such as Peggy leaving her job as Agnes's secretary in journalism due to her feelings for her editor. Peggy's future remains uncertain, but she expresses a desire to return to her novel, indicating a new chapter in her journey. The relationship between Peggy and Armstrong, Agnes's lady's maid, takes an unexpected turn when Peggy's intervention saves the staff from job losses. Armstrong, hesitating at the opportunity offered by Agnes, hints at a chance for redemption. Furthermore, the Van Rhines footman Jack Treacher sees positive changes as his improved alarm clock receives a patent in the season 2 finale. Larry Russell's offer to help him sell the invention and go into business together provides Jack with the opportunity to make his fortune. Simultaneously, it allows Larry to step out of his father's shadow and establish himself in the business, offering a chance for both characters to pursue their ambitions. While it may not align with Larry's initial dream of architecture, this new endeavor opens doors for him to make a name for himself. The Gilded Age has adeptly set the stage for Season 3 with the many stories already in motion and the turbulent historical backdrop of the time. With all these elements in place, Season 3 has the potential to be the most eventful chapter yet. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Feel free to share your suggestions for future videos in the comments below.